Hi there, and welcome to another helpful video from the Fiddle Leaf Fig Resource Center. I'm Meg Miller, and here we're going to show you what you can do to prevent root rot, the most common ailment of the popular fiddle leaf fig. Now, small ficus lyrata plants like this one experience distress more quickly than their older, more mature counterparts like this two-year-old fiddle leaf fig. But the good news is that you can learn the six ways to prevent root rot long before these symptoms appear in either young or old plants. Let's get started. First and most importantly is daily exposure to light. So while a combination of all the six uh, following factors is best, if you must and you have to prioritize one over any of the others, then light exposure is the most critical for preventing root rot. A common myth is circulating in houseplant publications that this species cannot handle direct light and that just couldn't be further from the truth. So acclimate your plants slowly to the highest sunlight exposure possible, including full direct sun all day. Next, you'll want to ensure your substrate is a fast draining fungus resistant mix. Your plant's roots cannot breathe when they're in standing water, so drainage holes are a good start, but the medium itself should also resist holding moisture. Thankfully, the Fiddle Leaf Fig Plant Resource Center has a custom potting mix made specifically for this species if you'd like to optimize this factor for your plant. Now, the third most important way to prevent root rot is to establish a healthy feeding and watering regimen. Using a moisture meter, determine how much water is still in your plant's root system since the last time you watered. If you need help selecting or learning to use a moisture meter, you'll find a helpful tutorial on our blog. When your moisture meter reads below 3 and 4, see this is a, like a 9 here, <laughs> it's time to water again once it's below a 3 or 4. You'll notice the top 2 inches of soil here have likely been dry for a while before those deep, deeper roots even reach that 3 to 4 level of dryness. As for nutrition, many fiddle leaf figs can survive on clean water, oodles of sunshine, and the right substrate mix. But that's the thing, you don't want your plant to simply survive. A tree that's in survival mode doesn't grow taller, doesn't store up energy to combat future diseases, it doesn't withstand even the slightest insect infestation, and often it wilts at the smallest environmental change. Instead, you want to boost that plant's immunity so that it holds up through seasonal changes and the unexpected problem. And for that, you'll need a liquid fertilizer and also a root supplement. Now before you open a new tab to shop online or rush to the nearest garden center, you want to do your due research. The good news is that we've compiled everything you need to know. Again, on our site, you'll find a description of the perfect fiddle leaf fig fertilizer, as well as a video answering the most commonly asked questions about our root supplement, which is specifically formulated to treat and prevent root rot. So. Now that you've optimized your plants, sunlight, growing medium, and feeding watering routine, the next three suggestions will be a breeze. First up is trunk wiggling, a term I made up to describe the deliberate bending of the tree's trunk. Now you may have seen this discussed in our special Facebook group dedicated just to fiddle leaf fig owners and lovers because we do, we talk about it all the time. Wiggling the trunk like this is one of the ways we mimic the species' native environment. We're replicating the wind here, but at the same time, we're also forcing the tree to produce a hormone that responds to this exercise. You see, in Sub-Saharan Africa, where this plant is from, strong storms blow in and the plant responds by digging deeper roots and devoting energy to strengthen that trunk. This way, it would be more ready for the next, you know, quote, storm. Stronger root systems are more resistant to root rot, so administer this treatment at least once a week. Now we're almost done. Number five on our list of ways to prevent root rot is regular root aeration. Now this might sound more complicated than it really is. To aerate your roots is to let them breathe the way earthworms would if they were digging tunnels in nature. To simulate that oxygenation, simply poke a chopstick or ice pick all the way down into the bottom of your plant's pot and give it a good wiggle. For a three or four foot plant like these, six or seven holes is sufficient. Larger trees like this one should be poked at least 10 places around the roots. The disturbance will help your plant's root system and it will give you a chance to monitor for any insect activity before it gets out of hand. Last but not least is the importance of regular repotting. Now, when I say regular, I don't mean once a week, once a month, or even once a quarter. We just recommend you don't forget the last time you repotted. 
In general, these trees love to stay put. In fact, they'll thrive in one pot for years, but then that same happy plant will suddenly develop root rot. And that's an experience that will alarm and grieve any fiddle leaf fig owner. Regular repotting helps with this. Simply plan to pot up once a year if your trees are growing. But if your plant is not growing or showing any other signs of distress, there's no need to repot more than every other year. So there we have it. Six ways to prevent root rot. Start with the three biggies, light exposure, a good growing medium, and an optimized nutrition and root supplement plan. Then work in trunk wiggling, root reiteration, and a plan to pot up, depending on your tree's growth rate. And as always, post pictures of your success or questions in our Fiddle Leaf Fig resource group, where we can cheer you on and admire your plant. Thanks for watching.